In this video, we're going to talk about drafts. And drafts can be applied to your model and should be applied to your model typically whenever they're going to be uh, injection molded or thermoformed or any other process that you're kind of heating stuff up inside of a mold. The reason that you apply drafts to the exterior edge is to make them easier to release from the mold and to also improve the surface finish. So let's take a quick look at what drafts look like. In our case, the bottom of the part is this uh, area here. And the top of the part to be released, it's gonna go straight up. So the drafts that we need to apply is gonna kind of bring uh, the sides of the part down into the, into the center of the part a little bit. So let's see what that looks like. Uh, we're gonna select the neutral plane first. And that's typically gonna be the top of your part. And then the faces to draft uh, are gonna be these exterior faces. So we can start to select some of those. And we see what's happening, right? The faces are kind of being skewed downwards and inwards at an angle of five degrees, which is what we've done. You can also do an outside draft if you like, um, if for example, you were making the mold. Uh, but in this case, we're making the component itself. However, we're getting some behavior that we don't expect, right? We have this lip because we're trying to draft into fillets. So what we need to do in this case is actually to create the draft ahead of the fillet operation. So if we drag the dog bone up and now we create the draft, with the neutral plane at the top, we can see that we're getting the results that we would, in, that we would anticipate. Um, all of the faces are kind of being drafted inwards at five degrees. Now we can press OK, and we can drag the dog bone back down. And we can see that it's picked up all of these faces, and now it looks like we would expect. So just be aware that uh, drafting may need to occur ahead of other operations, uh, but drafting is super powerful uh, in a lot of circumstances, even if you're not creating molds uh, or, or injection molded parts. You know, maybe you just need the side of a particular object to be off at a little bit of an angle. Well, you can use a draft there instead of something like an extrude cut uh, to make your life a little bit easier. 